The topic of this video is transforming exponential functions. We can graph exponential functions using the same transformations we learned earlier. We will limit ourselves to horizontal and vertical shifts, reflections about the x-axis and y-axis, and vertical stretches. Let's use 3 to the x power as our base function and transform it. The big blue circle is the point on the curve that is one space away from the asymptote, which is shown as a red dashed line. It is one space because the initial value, capital C, is 1. We can rewrite the equation y equals 3 to the x as f of x equals 1 times 3 to the x power. So capital C is 1. This blue point acts as an anchor point that allows us to measure how we transform our graph. The anchor point has coordinates 0, comma, C. Again, C, shown here, is 1. All right, now we're going to transform our graph. Let's start by taking the graph shown here and transforming it to the graph immediately below it, shown here. What's different about these graphs? Well, the anchor point has changed place. Instead of at a height of 1, it now appears to be at a height of 2. It went up one step. The asymptote has changed place. Instead of being at the x-axis, it has now gone up one step. In fact, if we look carefully, we'll see that every point of the graph has moved up one step. This clearly represents a vertical shift up one step. Therefore, to find the equation of this bottom graph, we take the equation of the above graph and, on the right-hand side, add 1. The equation of this graph on the left, at the bottom, is y equals 3 to the x power plus 1. All right, let's try a similar exercise. Let's compare the graph in the upper left to the graph in the lower right. How are they different? Well, again, we look at the anchor point. In the upper left graph, the anchor point is at positive 1. In the lower right graph, it's at negative 3. It appears it has moved down four spaces. The horizontal asymptote is at 0 in the upper left graph, but is at negative 4 in the lower right graph, validating our thoughts that it has moved down four spaces. So, what is the equation of the graph in the lower right? Well, it's the same as the equation of the graph in the upper left, but vertically shifted down four spaces, and therefore with a subtract four at the end. The equation of the graph in the lower right is y equals 3 to the x power, subtract 4. If I scroll down, we can see that the equations have been written here for us. 3 to the x power plus 1, 3 to the x power, subtract 4. All right, let's continue this analysis by trying two more graphs. So now we're going to compare the graph in the top left to the graph in the bottom left. How are they different? Well, it appears the anchor point has moved two spaces to the right. And in fact, the entire graph has moved two spaces to the right. That's a horizontal shift. So we're going to replace the x in this equation, y equals 3 to the x, with an x minus 2. This gives us the new equation y equals 3 to the x subtract 2. Remember, horizontal shifting is the reverse of what you would expect. To the right would be x subtract something. And finally, we'll go from the upper left graph to the lower right graph. Once again, we compare the location of the anchor point. A positive 1, uh, the coordinates of here are 0, 1, and the coordinates here are negative 3, 1. So it appears that it has moved to the left three spaces. So we take this equation, y equals 3 to the x power, and we replace that x with an x plus 3, because remember, horizontal shifting is the reverse of what you would expect. To the left would be adding. And we get our two new equations shown here. So 3 to the x subtract 2 for the graph on the left, 3 to the x plus 3 for the graph on the right. 